Hello friends, this video on electrochemistry part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's take similar numerical. Uh, we have to find the Nernst equation and the EMF of this electronitrate Kelvin. First write the balanced equation for this. Sn becomes Sn2 plus. So we have Sn which becomes Sn2 plus. And then H plus is reduced to H plus. So there are two hydrogen, there has to be two H plus. So this is my balanced reaction. Correct? So this will be an aqueous, obviously. This will be an aqueous. This will be gas. This will be solid. Now we know that E cell we have to find is nothing but E naught cell minus 0 0.0591 by N log of Q. This equation we know. Q for this will be what? Concentration of SN2 plus. Concentration of H2 will be 1 divided by concentration of H plus square. Why square? Because there is a 2 here. Correct? E cell we can easily find. We can easily find from this chart. Right? It will be nothing but else for you. So E naught cell will be nothing but E naught of right minus E naught of left. What is the E naught of right? Right is this guy. That is H plus to H reduction, E naught of left, that is SN plus to 2, 2 plus to SN reduction. Please don't put the reduction because standard potential is nothing but reduction potential. This is 0 minus and this value from the table we will get is minus 0.414B. Total is 1.4, sorry, 0 0.14, 0 0.14, positive. Correct. Let's plug the values. So e cell will be what? E naught cell that is plus 0.14 volt minus 0 0.0591 by n. There are two electrons transferred. If you see, two electrons into log of Q. Concentration of SN2 plus that is 0 0.05. Concentration of H plus 0 0.02 to the power 2. Correct. You solve this. You get plus 0.14 volt minus 0.002 volt, and that is nothing but this stick here. This point it will come out to be 0 0.0619. Actually, yes. So we saw there's the end result will be 0.078 volt. Similarly, we can solve this part also. Here also, we need to first find the balanced equation. So, Br uh, platinum is just a catalyst. Bromine is getting uh, reduced to Br minus. Right. And, uh, sorry, it's getting oxidized. Because the oxidation reaction, right? So, Br minus is getting oxidized to Br2. Right, Br minus to Br2 is oxidation, and then we have H plus to H2. There is something wrong here actually. This has to be Br minus here and Br2 here. Anyway, so Br minus is Br minus to Br2, so it's to Br minus, and then H plus to H2 is the reduction. So H plus is getting H2. So we have two H plus here. Correct. There are two electrons transferred here. So Q for this will be concentration of bromine and hydrogen both are gas. So V1 concentration of Br minus square concentration of H plus square. This is the value of Q. Right? E cell, E naught cell you can find actually. It is nothing but E naught cell of uh, hydrogen minus E naught cell of bromine, right? And that you will get is minus 1.08 volt. You can do it actually. For this reaction, we use the same formula. Nernst equation is nothing but E cell, nothing but E naught cell minus 0 0.059 minus n by log of Q. Why? Because it's happening at 298 Kelvin. 
This value is minus 1.08 volt minus 0 0.0591 by 2 because n is 2 electrons and log of q is 1 by concentration of Br1 square that is 0 0.01 square and concentration of H plus square that is 0 0.03 square. Right. Solve this minus 1.08 minus 0.21 is equal to minus 1.29 volt and that is my answer. You can solve it on your own if you have doubt then you can just watch this video. Uh, using the standard electric potential product if the reaction is feasible. See the reaction is feasible if my Gibbs free energy is negative and since I am talking about standard G0 is negative if that is negative that means my reaction is feasible and this is nothing but minus NF G0 is less than 0 these are all uh, constant right they are all positive values that means if E0 is greater than 0 my reaction is feasible because there is a minus here and there is a less than sign here right E0 is nothing but E0 of cell so if I can just find the E0 of the cell which you get from these electrodes and that is positive that means the reaction is visible. That's true also right if, if you have an uh, electrode potential of a cell is positive that means that it, that will work right. So in this case I have Fe3 plus and I minus. So Fe3 plus you can oxidize this because oxidation state can be plus 2 it can't be more than plus 3. So this Fe3 plus will be something which will get reduced. Right, it will, it will reduce, and I minus will give me something will get oxidized. Right, so anox red cat reduce that means this will be cathode, and this will be anode. Correct, so E of cell is nothing but we know that E of right minus E of left, and E of we are finding E0 actually. What is E of right in this? We have seen that we have anode in this side and cathode in this side AC. So that is nothing but E of cathode minus E0 of anode. What is the cathode reaction? Cathode reaction is this way E0 of Fe3 plus 2Fe talking the reduction reaction E0 of anode that is again I'm talking about reduction reaction so it will be I2 becomes I minus from the chart we can put the value this is 0.77 volt and this is 0.54 volt that is nothing but 0.23 volt and this is greater than zero so if it is greater than zero I can say that this reaction is possible correct Let's talk about the second case. I have Ag plus NCU. Obviously, Ag is plus is something which will get reduced. And Cu will get something oxidized. Again, N ox red cat oxidized means this is anode and reduced means this is cathode. Here to, we have to find the E cell. E cell we assume is nothing but E of right minus E of left. And we have AC anode on the left, cathode on the right. That is E of cathode minus E of anode. Since we are talking of standard, let's put E not all all the places. E not cathode for uh, is nothing but this is my cathode. That is I'm talking about Ag plus to Ag reduction. And E not anode I'm talking about Cu plus two to Cu reduction. Correct. See, there is a doubt here. I can take Cu2 plus to Cu also, or I can take Cu plus to Cu also. Right? This is not given actually what the reaction will follow because copper is getting oxidized. It can oxidize to Cu plus 1 or Cu plus 2. We don't know. So, this becomes uh, this is 0 0.8 volt and this is 0.52. We solve this, we get 0 0.28 volt. Even if you take the other one, this is instead of 0.52, it is. 0.34 volt. So in both the cases actually 0.8 minus 0.52 or 0.8 minus 0.34 you get the value which is 
greater than zero. Thus, I can say that yes, this reaction is possible. There is a confusion here, but in both the cases, I get a positive value of the E naught cell. So in a similar format, you can do all these questions. I won't solve for you, but this I'll show you. This is not feasible. You can try on your own. This is also not feasible, and this will be feasible for this E naught E cell that will come out to be minus 0.32 volt. For this, it will come out to be minus 0.03 volt, and for this, it will come out to be 0.32 volt. You can just tally this. You can solve this in the same uh, style. As I told that uh, this uh, nurse equation is also used to find the pH, here is a reverse question, if the pH is given you have to find the E of the cell, right, we have to calculate the potential of hydrogen electrode which is in contact with the solution whose pH is 10. So pH is 10 means what, pH is 10 means hydrogen plus ion concentration is nothing but 10 to the power minus 10, correct, pH is x that means H plus is 10 to the power minus xm. The reaction we have is uh, for the hydrogen electrode is H plus, you get electron, you get hydrogen gas, right? So E cell is nothing but E naught cell minus again 0 0.5091 by N log of Q at standard condition. This E naught cell is 0, minus 0 0.0591, number of electron transfer is 1, log of Q, what is the Q? Q is nothing but concentration of hydrogen gas divided by concentration of H plus, right? This is 1 by concentration of H plus, correct? So, this you put the value that is nothing but minus 0 0.059 y1 log of 10 to the power minus 10. If you solve this, you get 0.591 volt with a negative sign and that is my answer. Correct. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.